Okay, this is question three. It says simplify t plus t plus t. So we've seen this type of question before. So we should be able to add those t's together and get us 3t. Um, you'll remember that we, when we times algebra together, we can get rid of those. And I've indicated before that there's a temptation to write that down. But actually, what I need to do is to times the number bits together. So 3 times 2 is 6w. And that is my solution. This question says simplify 5mn's take away 3mn's. So it's like um, 5 take away 3 which is 2 lots of mn's. Question 4 is slightly different. This isn't simplifying, this is called substitution. Because they tell you the different values of 3 of a and b and they give you a little expression where they're expecting you to put the values of A and B into this. But just before I start substituting, I'm going to rewrite this because I know that 4A is the same as 4 times by A and I know that 2B is the same as 2 times by B. It's worth just knowing that because when I substitute these in, I can just literally replace the A and the B with these two values which is what I'm going to do now. So it's 4 times by 3 plus 2 times by 5. This is what's known as the substitution line. And what I can do now is I can work out each of these, uh, this, work out this answer, but I must remember that I multiply before I do any adding. So there's two lots of multiplying to be done. So 4 times uh, 3 is 12. 2 times by 5 is 10, and if I add those together, I get 22, and that is my answer.